the devil knows he who gets the kingdoms get the harvest. He who gets the place get the people. So the devil tempted Jesus. Whoever is willing to bow and compromise, I will give to whomever I wish. Who is the whomever? They are the kings of those kingdoms. They are the decision makers at the top of the mountain. They are the influence shapers. They shape all the choices that we make in our lives. In fact, Lance Wall now says in his research, 3% of the world population controls 97% of all the choices we make. 3% at the very top in every pillar, in every dimension, in every mountain, controls 97% of all the choices that we will ever make in life. I'll give you an example. In the 1940s, Adolf Hitler rose all the way to the top. He brought widespread hatred and racism, especially anti-Semitism. He started World War II and killed 60 million people, 2.5% of the world population, one man, because he went all the way to the top of the mountain. In the 1960s, the Beatles rose all the way to the top of the mountain of us entertainment. Forever change the youth culture of a whole generation. How did they do it? They went all the way to the top and started to shape the value system of the youth. Now, we are all born again, spirit-filled Christians. How many of you are born again, you're filled in the Holy Spirit, and you're so glad and grateful to God? Just lift both your hands and wave a bit. All right, one more time. I, I can't hear you, all right? I mean, we are a happy church. Wave both hands and shout a little bit. Amen. Amen. We are born again. We are spirit-filled. Jesus, according to my Bible, has made us what? Kings and priests unto God. Everybody say, I'm a king and a priest. Turn to your neighbor and say, you're a king and a priest. That means we are able to influence and impact all these mountains. What is Jesus' prayer? Tonight, when we have Holy Communion, you say it. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Where? Here on earth. As it is in heaven, God wants us as kings and priests. That means as priests, we have the anointing, we are prophetic. But as kings, we rise to the top of the mountain to be one of the 3% decision makers. And we begin to shape, we begin to influence, to impact, and bring down the kingdom of God into the sphere God has put us in. Let me give you an example, if this could be done. In the 19th century, the United States wanted to abolish slavery. In those days, if you are born a, a black person, you can become a slave. So they wanted to dismantle all this slavery thing. About three million soldiers fought in the American Civil War and 620,000 young men died. 620,000 young men died. They were killed by the bullets. At about the same time, in England, in Great Britain, William Wilberforce was a member of parliament and an Anglican. I came from Anglican church, so I'm very proud of the Anglicans. So he was on fire for God. He gathered a network of leaders over the seven realms. A small company of men and within a short while, this small company, a small group of people, they were able to dismantle and abolish slavery. Not a single bullet was fired. You see, the kingdom of God is more powerful than the bullet. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Amen. Amen. 